How do I get that? What is that anyway? What is sum fm squared? We know what sum is. What does sum mean? Add. Is that true? You guys okay with that? Sum means to add. But where do we get fm squared? What is fm squared? Another note. fm squared, you guys remember algebra? What is it? F times M times what? M. M squared, that's an exponential. M times M. You guys see what I'm saying? So here we go. Can you guys tell me? I need that F M squared column of data to add because once I add those values, I'll get something here, this rectangle, that is the value I place here. OK, you guys OK with that? So the next question then is going to be this. How do you get those values? Nope. Do not square the frequency. Why? Why don't you square the frequency? The frequency is not squared here. This fm squared stuff, this is not. Be careful. This thing is not this. No, 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 no. No, this is not the same. OK? In other words, I need to take the FM and multiply it with the FM, this portion here, multiply it with what? With M. FM times M. What is M? Midpoint. So take this value here, these values, and multiply it with, they're already there. See that? They're already there for you. Nice. They're here. Two point five times seven point five. What is that? What is it? Eighteen point seven five. Okay. 8.5 times 42, what's that? 8.5 times 42? 357? Okay. 14.5 times 145, what's that? What is it? 2,000 what? Okay. 20.5 times 82? What is it? 1681. 26.5 times 53, what's that? 4. What is it? What happens when you add these values? What happens when we add them? <coughs> yes? Five times 8.5. Right here? Five times 8.5 is 42. Is it 42.5? Okay, good then that means this is going to change, right? Um, yeah, that means this is going to change, right? So what is 8.5 times 42.5? OK, good. Now what happens when we add these values? What is it? <laughs> what do you get? Yeah. 
What is it? Five thousand five hundred and sixty eight point two five. How many people second this five thousand five hundred sixty eight? Okay. That goes where? Right here. Five thousand five hundred and sixty eight. So what you get now is this, order of operation. If you bought the calculator, you enter it all without even looking up. You can enter all of this stuff in your calculator. 24 times, what's 24 times what number? 23. What do you get for the variance? What's the numerator? What's the denominator? What do you get up here? Is it 330.5? No. 0.5 and 0.5 is a whole number. We already did this one, I think. Wasn't it wasn't earlier 330. So what happens if I use order of operation for the numerator? Twenty four times five thousand five hundred and sixty eight minus three hundred and thirty raised to the second power. I get twenty four thousand seven hundred and thirty two. What's twenty four times twenty three? Five hundred and fifty two, is that true? So that the variance will be twenty four seven three two divided by five five two. If I approximate this answer to the nearest tenth, the variance is 44.8. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a note. If I compute the standard deviation, isn't that the square root of the variance? What you want to do here is this. This is an approximate answer. Use before you take the square root, use your calculator. Use the more accurate answer in your calculator. So that when you take the square root of that, <coughs> it's very often the square root of the answer. And I get now for standard deviation then 6.693604.5. If I approximate this to the nearest tenth, the answer is 6.7 for your standard deviation. 